Welcome Christian Holter, the founder and director of SOLID, an Austrian engineering company. And I would say if there would be an Olympic um, medal you know, discipline on sophisticated large solar thermal system, you would be the one who would have received gold already in the last years very often. I think you have uh, a very big history in planning, installing large solar thermal systems. And I would like to know from you why there are so few systems over 1,000 square meters yet, like which corresponds to 700 kilowatt. Yeah. Well, a big solar system has a very different approach to a private one. On the private market, you simply can go out and say, well, I want to have a system like that. You open your private accounts and the thing is done. In a commercial system, um, the customer has a lot of more things he's considering in the decision process. So he wants to see economics, he wants to see a risk assessment, uh, he needs to have a certain energy load, you need to understand and which needs to fit to the solar. And uh, you need to engineer the system. It's nothing where you can, can, where you can make a plug and play, but it needs specific understanding of the customer's possibilities, situation. And so this is more difficult to be developed. And in the past, the decision makers on large systems were not aware what can be done with solar thermal technology. Solar was seen uh, as nice thing for private hot water and space heating or pool heating but there was no focus that this is very interesting as well for commercial applications and today uh, decision makers are getting more and more awareness of what can be done for space heating for processing in industry and for cooling and so these doors are starting to open but it's a long process of explaining of showing best practice and uh, uh, really going around, around a little bit like a prayer, explaining possibilities and options on that. So the systems you installed so far were pure economical. I mean, what convinced the investors to do solar thermal? Yeah, I would say 95% of the projects have been done at the end of out of economical decisions combined with green policy uh, targets. Uh, there are a very few projects, I would recall two in the company's history, which definitely do not perform economically and it was just a point of representation and, and image. But on all the other projects, the people really wanted to see a detailed economic and technical feasibility and there are some differences how people um, look at economics. Uh, university campus uh, usually says, well, we're sitting here since 100 years, so if the solar system pays for itself within 15 or 20 years, we are fine on that. If you go to a commercial company uh, where you have production cycles running, they typically accept something like three to five years maximum, even for a very stable and long-term technology, as internal uh, processes might change, the energy demand might change, and so the solar system maybe uh, would need a different configuration in five years. Okay, so what should be frame conditions, because you work internationally, you have seen many countries which are difficult for solar thermal, what are typical frame conditions that it makes easier for the investors to do large solar thermal systems? Yeah. I would say there are three major important things for the project assessment. One is very easy, which is the meteorologic meteorological conditions, so if you go to sunny countries, it's very evident the system has more operation time, more benefits. The second is the energy pricing and policy in the countries. And you find all different uh, patterns. You find countries where fossil fuels are subsidized according to social reasons. And then you want to develop a renewable energy plant that is not subsidized. That's a very tough job. You find the other way around, fossil fuels with high taxes, renewables with funds. And so this is a very local impact and actually it's not even on state level. Sometimes even you need to go to a regional federal level to understand what's happening there. And this landscape is difficult to understand. And the third one is to understand the customer's profile. What is he going to accept in his way of thinking, in his philosophy as reasonable investment periods? So what is the system you are most proud of in your long history of large solar thermal systems? Actually, it's always the latest projects you have done uh, and each project is a specific kind of highlight 
opening a next step and a next approach. I specifically recall the first system that was exceeding the thousand square meters of collector areas, which was a great success for us. The first international project where you see, okay, now it's starting up, incredible success. The first type of energy service contract where we say, okay, now that's our own, we sell out energy for 20 years. To have put together all the stones you need for a project like that, that's always a great achievement. And so reviewing the latest things, actually there are two things to be proud of. It is the biggest solar air conditioning system, which is an energy service contract. The first time worldwide, I know something like that has been done on the one hand. So it's two milestones at once. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, uh, the industrial plant we do for Pepsi Cola Gatorade, because we got an expansion order tripling an existing plant, which shows high satisfaction of the customer. Great. Congratulations and thank you very much.